Okay, I just want to talk about the TM44 because I know some people out there will think it's just another bit of paperwork, another bit of legislation. But there's actually more to it. Um, the advantage you've got with it being independent is you do not have the issues of the same people that maintain things being the ones doing the audits. Because it is an audit, you know, although it's a certificate. It's also something that is turning around saying that this is in good working order. Now, because it's done independently, it means that people like myself will give an unbiased review and condition. This means as a client, um, the, the overall property owner, you're actually getting somebody that's coming in there and will say exactly what they see. We can't be manipulated, we will not change things to suit anybody, it's a snapshot and being a professional person means that you'll get exactly what you we see. The reason we, we're doing it this way and why the government has done it this way is because they obviously noticed that 50% of the energy costs for the whole of the UK come from buildings. One third of the uh, cost for a business is in energy usage. So when you've got air conditioning units where the fans aren't running properly, the unit's too big for the building, things are underrated for uh, IT for example, it all has an impact not only on the business and uh, financial impact but it also it has an impact on the environment. Now for years a lot of FM companies are self-governing, um, so as a client, you put the responsibility onto the FM company to make sure you're compliant with everything. But with me being in the FM industry and repair and maintenance industry for over 22 years, I've seen FM companies that have removed all the filters, for example, from air conditioning so they don't have to buy new ones. Um, I've seen things that are altered just to save money. I've seen things that um, some companies will actually go run to fail and I know many clients out there are well aware which companies do that. Um, where basically you, you contract somebody to do your maintenance, you give them a fixed fee and they should cover all your maintenance in that. But what they do is they swap um, basically run to fail where they do very little maintenance, the absolute minimum they have to because any run to fail is paid for separately um, and when you've got a seven year contract it's very hard to get out of those contracts and they know it and they'll just abuse it um, so having something like this audit will actually give a set of eyes that are not going to be tied to the FM company they're not going to be tied to the client. What they are tied to is giving an honest review of the condition and usage of the air conditioning on a particular building and recommendations for upgrades, changes, alterations, etc. For the business and the client, this means that they're going to get the best of value from it and that they should see this as an opportunity to improve their environmental stance within a business and also their efficiencies and reducing costs by improving the environment and equipment that they have. So it's not just a simple piece of paperwork and I highly recommend that people should look into it a bit more and as it's becoming more and more of a critical thing in the UK, energy management as well as the environment, these things are going to become more and more strict because the cost implications are phenomenal. Um, high energy costs don't just have an electric bill cost or a gas bill cost, it has a far more reaching issue of environmental impact as well as for the country, as we import most of our uh, natural gas, etc., um, 
it has a far-reaching impact outside of the local economy. So these things are for everybody's benefit, for today, tomorrow, and for the future. Right. Thanks for watching.